Ambulance services will soon be taken away from one community. Twin Cities Ambulance told lawmakers in Lockport they will end services next month. The fire department says it can take over, but it looks like politics may be getting in the way there. Senior reporter Eileen Buckley went to Lockport to see why this critical service is hanging in the balance. It could be a life or death situation for residents as the city of Lockport faces a tough situation. Twin City Ambulance says it's pulling its service at the end of January. South Lockport Fire Company has one of the highest emergency call volumes in Niagara County, averaging 7 to 10 calls a day. Fire Chief Chris McClune Case tells me that includes responding to the city of Lockport. And right as I was interviewing him, a call came in. We're getting perfect example. We're getting called to the city of Lockport right now to cover because there's no commercial agencies available. Twin City Ambulance responds to the city of Lockport, but it is dealing with a staffing shortage and has notified Lockport it will no longer be able to service the area at the end of next month. We are very taxed at the moment with the, the amount of call volume that we have and the limited amount of uh, personnel that we have, they need to get back into the ambulance business. Twin City President Terrence Clark says they've been providing service to the city of Lockport without a contract. In 2014, the city cut 12 firefighters in a cost-cutting move and ended ambulance service it had provided for more than 40 years. But so far, there is no word from City Hall on how it will replace the ambulance service. And right now, there are wait times of up to 30 minutes in some situations. I know what it's like to watch somebody die, and it is an absolute crime that we're forcing our citizens to wait for an ambulance. It's inexcusable. Lockport City Council President Paul Beekman, who's a retired police officer, tells me he's disgusted because four council members are not in support of the city conducting its own service. He says they're still holding a grudge from 2014's financial troubles and are too worried about politics. We have a full fire department ready to serve our community and the only thing stopping it is the Lockport Common Council and it's, it's wrong. The Lockport City Fire Chief tells me the city has already bought two ambulances and have enough paramedics to assist and there is no valid reason why they can't handle the calls. They like to use the term profitable, but public safety isn't meant to be profitable. It's a service you provide to your constituents. Twin City says it is willing to offer some flexibility if Lockport isn't ready by the end of next month, but right now fire leaders are calling on the city to do the right thing. In Lockport, Eileen Buckley, 7 News.